Nigerian government collaborates with Interpol to extradite fleeing Binance chief. Jimmy Aki last updated, April 3, 2024, 2128 EDT, two-minute read. The Nigerian government and the International Criminal Police Organization Interpol have commenced a concerted plan to extradite Binance chief Nadim Anjarwala who escaped from detention on March 22, 2024. This collaboration was reported by a local media outlet The Punch on April 3 as the government continues to clamp down on Binance Holdings Limited over allegedly facilitating money laundering in the country. Nigerian government clampdown on suspicious crypto activities continues. The local media outlet stated that top Nigerian government sources exclusively confirmed on April 2 that the process of extraditing Nadim Anjarwala, the Binance regional manager for Africa, had begun, along with synergizing with the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI and the British and Kenyan governments. Mr. Anjarwala's extradition process has begun. The federal government is working as did with Interpol to extradite the fugitive to Nigeria. He's a fugitive that escaped from lawful custody and his other partner is still in custody and would be arraigned on Thursday, April 4 alongside their company, Binance, the source. Noted, meanwhile, a top security source exclusively told the news outlet that the security personnel who were assigned to monitor Anderwala before his escape are being questioned by special investigators. It could be recalled that the Nigerian government, through the Office of the National Security Advisor, had on February 28, 2024, arrested Nadim Anjarwala and Tigran Gambarian, who are senior Binance executives. The duo's arrest was made during their visit to Nigeria in the wake of the government's ban on Binance and other major cryptocurrency exchanges. They were detained with their international passports seized. Nigerian government slams $35.4 million money laundering charge on Binance and executives. The Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Ali Ami Cardoso disclosed on February 27 that Binance had facilitated $26 billion in trades from Nigeria in the last one year, which he claimed were funds from anonymous sources and resident traders. As part of the investigative process, the Nigerian government wants the exchange to provide data on its top 100 traders slash investors in the country, alongside a comprehensive transaction history of every user for the past six months. Some few days after these demands were made, Nadim Anjarwala reportedly fled the country under unusual circumstances. The Binance chief, who holds dual British and Kenyan citizenship, was believed to have used his Kenyan passport to board a flight to flee the West African nation. His escape has elicited criticisms in Nigeria, with some security experts expressing their embarrassment at how he fled detention, despite being in the custody of personnel security. Following the executive escape, Nigeria's anti-graph agency, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFC, charged Binance Holdings Limited and Gambarian on suspicion of money laundering activities on March 28. Meanwhile, Binance exclusively told the local media outlet on April 3 that Tigran Gambarian, the other Binance official detained, is not part of the trading firm's management team but serves as a law enforcement officer and does not have the power to implement decisions or release data on the profile of its top 100 traders in Nigeria. Binance's statement partly reads, Binance respectfully requests that Tigran Gambarian, who has no decision-making power in the company, is not held responsible while current discussions are ongoing between Binance and Nigerian government officials. Follow us on Google News. Thank you